what is going on everyone i am nux pro and welcome to this escape from tarkov quest guide this guide is for the collector where you need to collect a bunch of streamer items to unlock the kappa container to unlock the collector you need to complete almost every quest in the game on the screen now are a list of quests that are not needed to unlock the collector there will also be a link in the description to the collector wiki page which will have the most up-to-date information on what quests are required to unlock the collector. But in this video, we're gonna go through every item needed to complete this quest. I'm gonna show you the best places and I'm gonna give you some strategies to help you along the way. There will be timestamps in the description if you wanna skip ahead to specific items, but I do highly recommend you watching the whole video. There are gonna be some items where I'm gonna reference safes now there are two spots in the game where you can loot a whole bunch of safes at one time one is on customs in the dorms area there are five safes that you can loot there's 214 and 204 in the three-story dorm and there's 105 110 and 114 in the two-story dorm and they all require keys the keys are pretty cheap though the second spot is on shoreline at the cottages where you can loot four safes. There are two unlocked safes in the house to the left and in the house to the right. You need the cottage key to enter. One safe requires a key and the other safe is free to loot. Now let's get you the Kappa container mother. <laughs> Quickly, before we get to the first item, I just want to go over the scav case. The scav case is a great tool to use to get streamer items. You want to make sure you are doing moonshine runs and it provides a great opportunity to get some of these items if you're struggling to find them in raid. First up is the 42nd Signature Blend English Tea. Now, I, f I usually find these throughout the wipe in duffel bags and hidden stashes, but if you want, an almost guaranteed way to find this you need to loot ration supply crates and there are two spots in the game where there is a crap load of ration supply crates in one spot so let's jump in remember ration supply crates are not only good for finding the english tea but you can find dr lupo's coffee beans the sprats and devil dogs mayo so we're on reserve here this is black bishop you come around the back and you're gonna find three ration supply crates great opportunity to do a lot of searching and one quick swoop here's ration supply crate one ration supply crate two and then you come in here make a left this leads to the underground bunkers and you got ration supply crate number three. All right, we're still on reserve. This is the hermetic door bunker. There are four cages down here. Now, not every cage has ration supply crates. So there is a picture on the screen of what keys you need and how many supply crates, ration supply crates are in that cage. So here, first cage to the left has zero ration supply crates. So don't worry about that one. The back cage on the left has two ration supply crates. And as we start from the front again, first cage on the right has a whopping four ration supply crates. And then farther cage to the right has two ration supply crates. If you hit all these supply crates, you will probably find the tea, Lupo's beans, the sprats, and the mayo. Just from filming this video, I opened all the crates. I found everything except Lupo's coffee beans. So that's your best bet to get these done. And here's where I found the tea. And if you don't know, you have to read this corner here to know if they're a ration supply crate medical or a... Uh, technical supply crate we're going to continue on with the food next is the can of sprats 
this is really easy to find you find it in hidden stashes and duffel bags a lot you will find it anywhere that food spawns if you want a more direct way to find it ration supply crates if you want a good way to go through multiple ration supply crates reference the english t section of this video and there's also one spot that this spawns all the time for me shoreline resort west wing 218 you can see in the picture there on the table to the right if you go in here one out of five times there's probably going to be some sprats on that table next is the jar of devil dog mayo now this definitely spawns way less than sprats but there are two great ways to get this the first again is ration supply crates if you need a, like a, a ration supply crate run please reference the english t section of this video there should be a link in the description and you'll find this no problem if you want more of a thick spawn west wing 216 in the resort on shoreline this spawns pretty frequently on the table as you can see in the picture i would say one out of every six raids it'll be there and the last food item is the can of dr lupo's coffee beans now if you are looting hidden stashes and duffel bags throughout the white by the time you get to the collector you should have already found the coffee beans but if you haven't ration supply crates if you run through a bunch of ration supply crates you should find this no problem reference the english t section of this video for our ration supply crate run there's also a spawn on shoreline at the greenhouse right next to the swamp it usually spawns on the floor there is a pretty low chance that you will find it this way but i have found it here twice over the last two wipes so if you're doing shoreline loot runs outside of the resort you should definitely check this house because there's also a bunch of other good stuff in here as well the next item is the veritas guitar pick now as long as you are looting safes throughout the wipe you should have no problem finding this it seems to be pretty common inside safes reference the beginning of the video where i go over two safe runs one on customs one on shoreline you should find this no problem i've even found it in hidden stashes and duffel bags you can also find it in the manager's office on labs and the red key card room on labs but that's not realistic for most people and if you don't want to deal with labs and you really can't find it in the safe it does spawn on shoreline east wing of the resort room 310 on the tables and west wing 220 on top of the box and sometimes on the corner of that desk right of the box next is shrouds half mask and cotton's beanie i'm grouping these together because you find them the same exact way i do find them in hidden stashes and duffel bags so as long as you're looting those throughout the wipe you should find these by the time you get to the collector but your best way to find these is on scavs so when you do scav runs check your scav to see if they have these items equipped and when you kill scav or scav raider you'll check the body and you should be able to eventually find these items next is the raven figurine now this one can be a little tough you will find it in safes it's definitely less common than say the veritas a guitar pick but you will find in safes eventually if you if you keep looting them um the labs manager office is a really good place to find the raven figurine as well red key card room which you know that's probably not going to apply to most of us uh good spawn is on shoreline room 222 on the east wing in the box on the floor in the bathroom i found it there a lot also uh shoreline west 220 on the box i have found it a bunch of times as well next is the pastilli plague mask now this is most easily found on cultists so if you're a cultist killer you should find this no problem this can be difficult for some people because killing the cultist uh can be difficult so this might not be an option for everyone 
but I have been finding these in duffel bags and loot stashes. I found at least three this wipe. They are a lot more common than it used to be. So as long as you're doing that, by the time you get to the collector, you should be able to find the plague mask. Now you can also find them on scavs. I have found them on scavs at night on interchange and on factory. So whenever you're killing scavs there, make sure you check the body quick if you are looking for the plague mask next items we have the fake mustache and the antique axe i'm grouping these together because you find them the same exact way you're only really going to find them on scavs and scav raiders so every time you kill a scav make sure you're checking for these items also when you're doing scav runs make sure you check your scav and see if they have these items equipped but the axe you're definitely only going to find on a scav and then the fake mustache it's super rare but i have found it in hidden stashes but most likely and your best shot is to find these on scavs and scav raiders next is the golden 1g phone now this you can easily find an interchange it has a very high spawn rate i would check the tables in rasmussen i would also check this the shelves and texho but i almost always find it up here in tech light on the shelves and it's very slim so sometimes it can be hard to see so make sure you check the top of the shelves for this example it does not appear to be here but I'm telling you, if you do three runs on interchange, you can get up here. You will definitely find it. And if you don't want to deal with the nonsense around the tech stores, you can also find it here in the Ikea offices. It can spawn right here under the keyboard, right here on this box or more rare you can sometimes find it on these blue shelves so make sure you check all the blue shelves one more spot for the 1g phone if you go into the power station in the back office look on the shelves there there and there and there it is another place to find the 1g phone deadly slavs beard oil has three frequent spawns on interchange the first one is here at the power station you're going to go to the back of the office and you're going to be looking on these shelves here you're going to be looking on the shelves here and you're going to look on the shelves here spawns i would say one out of every 10 raids the beard oil also spawns here in the ollie offices this is this you need the logistics office key to open you should have this key because you're, it's needed for a quest check the desks i find it a lot right there check the desks check these shelves desk shelves and then check in this room here that's already open check the desks check the back shelves here and check this room check the desks the shelves the desks and the last spot you can find the beard oil across from texo here we have this furniture store you're just gonna check the shelves and see if you find the beard oil all the way across hello thunder another rainy day in tarkov I usually find it in these shelves here but you want to check everything and that's the last spot for the beard oil next is the silver badge now if you loot a lot of safes throughout the wipe you will eventually find a few of these but if you're not one of those safe looters 
a uh, more direct way to find this is on shoreline there's four different rooms the best one and i want to say i find this one in every 15 to 20 raids is east wing 205 in the drawer on top of the bed i always seem to find it there uh, other good rooms are east 222 in the box on the floor in the bathroom east 310 on the desks and west 220 on the box next up we have the golden rooster now this is easy because you get this as a quest reward for completing a friend from the west part one so once you complete that just tuck this away and you don't have to worry about it but if you do get rid of it the labs manager office has a pretty consistent spawn red key card room again not realistic most people don't have red key cards also on shoreline you're looking at east uh 310 on the shelves and you are looking at west 220 on the box next is the fire clean gun lube now this one can be tough if even if you loot hidden stashes and duffel bags it can be very difficult to find i actually found it inside a dead scav like one of those stationary dead scavs that are uh, on some of the maps on factory a really good spot and consistent spot to get this is on labs in the little the little glass room with the robotic arm it spawns there pretty consistently also seems like every single time i loot sturman stash i find the gun lube i've also killed people who have looted that stash and they've had gun lube i would say if you loot that stash 10 times you're gonna find at least gun one gun lube but if uh you want the the best chance it's that robotic arm area on labs or i would check sturm and stash if you don't find it throughout the wipe in dead scavs duffel bags and hidden stashes next is the battered antique book this is really easy if you loot safes this is a pretty common item in safes shouldn't be a problem if you loot hidden stashes and duffel bags it is pretty common to find as long as you do looting you should find this with no problem safes are definitely the best though last but not least it's the old fire steel now i've had luck finding this in four specific spots you don't really find it too much in duffel bags and hidden stashes it can spawn in toolboxes and technical supply supply crates but it is kind of rare but the four spots i usually find this is number one on reserve in the rb am room uh on the bottom of black bishop you go in there check all the shelves and make sure you check pretty good because it can kind of blend in with the wood i have found it there a bunch of times also on labs in the little robotic arm area on the table there is a pretty consistent spawn the next two are on shoreline they spawn a lot less but uh west wing 301 on these uh plastic containers you can find it and if you go up to the weather station on the computer desk you can find it there as well those two shoreline spawns are a lot less common than the labs and reserve spawn though one last option is an expensive option 2.5 million rubles to be exact is the interchange safe room the safe room spawns streamer items pretty consistently there's a good chance every time you go in there you're going to find at least one streamer item the only issue is the key card costs 2.5 million dollars and it is needed to get the door open sometimes you can go down there and the door will already be open but uh other than that you're going to need the key card an expensive an expensive option but an option nonetheless i hope you enjoyed the video please leave me a like and leave a comment let me know if you've completed the collector and consider subscribing we're almost at 14,000 subscribers thank you for watching